and welcome back to the most complete Las Vegas sports show on the planet. And get this, we aren't just limited to Clark County this week. Chris Matthews joins us again from the Bay Area. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, John. You know, having a father like the iconic Al Davis, his son, Mark Davis, has been running around these training practice fields since he was just a little boy. Now he's running back and forth to Las Vegas. We caught up with a 64-year-old who said he is absolutely thrilled to be moving into that new $2 billion mansion. Mark, let me just ask you, it's almost the same question I just wanted to ask you, having grown up in the organization with your dad and running things and seeing the players and kind of growing up with players and being around players now, boy, how just what a life that's been for you, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, um, as I think I've told you before that uh, as a young kid, all the players that would come to the Raiders uh, from the north, south, east, and west, all different viewpoints, different economic backgrounds, uh, everything else and seeing them come together as a unit as Raiders for a common goal and to work together was very important to me and helped form a lot of my viewpoints in life. It, it, are the Raiders if not the best one of the best in terms of keeping the alumni recognizing the alumni doing community service and you're already doing stuff in Vegas and the team's not even there you've been doing it for a year is that part of the Raider way? That is absolutely the Raider way and it's something that I had told the SNTIC when we were going through that process that you're getting more than a football team. Um, when the Raiders come down, you're getting an army. And that includes all the alumni, and includes the current players, coaches, and staff. And we want to be in the community. And we want to help with the kids and everything else. So that's easy for us. As far as ranking us the best at that or the worst, we don't, don't really rate ourselves in that respect. Uh, we just do it because we want to. And that we need to. Another thing that's cool about Raider Nation is the fact, the costuming, the makeup, the whole—it's—it's it's, it's a cool thing, isn't it? The way that again, all that's again, involved. Every one of our fans you is know? different individuals, <laughs> and you, you know, they, everybody wants to put us in a box, but there's no box. There's 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 not this franchise. No, you, you'd be surprised at who some of those people that are painted up are. They're doctors, lawyers, and everything else. The. Uh, cast of characters this year. What kind of gets you as the owner of the franchise? I mean, you got different Antonio Brown, Richie Incognito, you got Vic uh, Perfect. I mean, all, just a whole semi overhauled roster. What kind well, of gets you fired just, up? Just, just as, as with the fans, you can't put the players in a box either. They're all individuals and they all have their own lifestyles and everything else. And that's why I say to see them come together for a common cause is really, I think it's important in life and it's a unique type of thing, but teamwork is really important. Um, one of the things my dad used to say, well, somebody, one of the players came up and I think it was, we were getting ready to sign John Matuzak. And I think, I forget if it was Ted Hendricks came up and said something to my dad about, or my dad said to Ted, well, what do you think about, you know, assigning uh, Matuzak? And Ted says, oh, hell, Al, what's one more? <laughs> and, you know, that that's, you know, this is what <laughs> this is what this world is like here. And uh, but I've gotten to know some of those guys. Um, they asked me to talk to Antonio Brown just to, you know, say hi to him for about 10 minutes or so. An hour later, they said, hey, Mark, Antonio's got to get to practice. Uh, we got into such a great discussion. He's such a great young man. And uh, you really can't judge these guys based on what other people say. You got to judge people on how you deal with them and how they deal with you. You got Gruden, you got these players, you got Carr another year. It almost seems like, like you say, you want to win, but it seems like the, it's set up nicely for Vegas, though. Well, it's set up nicely for this year. Yeah, this year. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Our last year in Oakland, yeah. and it's set up nicely, hopefully, for the future to build fun. Yeah. Um, there, you know, we're, we've got a great team right now. We've got great, a great bunch of guys. We just started practice. Uh, we have to find out what we have, but we're not going to know until Sunday afternoon. Yeah. You know, around five o'clock. And then you'll be saying, what the hell you got here? Or you're gonna be saying, geez, you guys look pretty damn good. But there's always gonna be holes that you're trying to fill and you're always trying to get better. And you, you know, the season goes on through injuries and things like that. You never know when you start a season if that's what the team you're gonna finish with. Yeah, that's true, yeah. And uh, so to say that we're set up for Las Vegas, hell yeah, we're set up for Las Vegas, but we're also set up for this season. You're good. Um, you, you're involved in the community in Vegas. Mark Bedane's moving there. In fact, he said Monday. Yeah, he's moving. Yes, he so, is. I mean, that whole Vegas vibe is kind of fun, isn't it? It'll be, it'll be a fun. I mean, the stadium, I love it. the whole. I, I'm so excited. 
I am just so excited. I go, you know, go to by the stadium when I drive by it. I have to stop, and at night I'm over there quite a bit, talking with the workers. I go down there and just stand on the 50-yard line and just look around. I have to pinch myself because it's it's real, and it's going to be so magnificent. It's just. Do you almost, you mentioned you pinch yourself, is it almost amazing to you that, what was it, four and a half years ago, you're sitting in front of Steve Sisolak and Hill and those guys? It wasn't that long ago, it was, was it? Bam. And it was got, like three and a half years ago, maybe? And then it's, it's halfway to completion. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I pinch myself. Wow. And all the help that we got from all those people is not forgotten. We didn't do this on our own. And nobody could do this on their own. There were a lot of people in Las Vegas that have helped us get to where we are today. And we'll never forget that. Would you move training camp to Reno? I know Steve. Um, that, that's 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 a potential, but yeah. you know, there's. I personally don't see a reason to move it from here. Right. Yeah. Um, I've talked to a lot of the sponsors that have come down. Was out here last night for dinner, yeah. and they love it here. Oh yeah. You know, and I, I don't know. I don't know. The fact that it would be very difficult to train to do training camp in Las Vegas because of oh, the weather yeah, you means we're going to have to go somewhere where we're going to have to be flying back to home. So whether we fly from here in Napa, or fly from Reno, or fly from anywhere, it's that, that they're, they're equal. So in that aspect, everything's equal. I don't think you can get a better setup than this here, but at the same time, you know, you never know. Yeah. Final question, Mark, you've embedded yourself in that Vegas community with that, following the Aces, you've been to Knights games, you've kind of seen that whole sporting side of Vegas. Boy, the Raiders, when they get there, boom, suddenly they go to number one. Well, I wouldn't say that. I, I you know, I, lo I love the Aces. I love the Knights. I think what they're doing is fantastic. I have such a good time at all their games. We have to earn the love. We can't just go in there and expect it. And that's really part of why, again, we're working in the community and everything else to show them that we care. And But we want to earn it. And if we earn that number one spot, that's fantastic. But at right now, we look at the Knights and the Aces as our brothers and sisters of bringing professional sports to Las Vegas. And all three of us have to work together to make sure that it works. All right, so a very interesting interview with Mark Davis. Now coming up on Game on Vegas,